Hello everybody, welcome back to more Elden Ring. Time for us to deal with the cliff bottom catacombs. Then we'll probably do some uh, overworld stuff once we've dealt with it. In any case, as we enter, just in case you guys want to see where we are, we're going to go ahead and go down the lift. A few notable pieces of uh, loot in here, such as the wonderful pate, prattling pate. Uh, this is going to be one of the few where we've actually got some loot on the shelf behind. Um, when you're coming down the lift, just make sure you look on the shelf. There's there's quite a few dungeons that have them, um, and you know if if there's something on there, just go ahead and grab it. Ah. Oh. It's gonna be one of those situations, huh? Can I backstab you? That'd be lovely. Wow, to say we've got good crit, that was not the damage that I was expecting to see. Okay, well, I guess we'll switch to the... It's a due for now. Just take care as we come through here now. That's been a while, I can't remember exactly where every enemy is. Oh, you're our first fat one. It's no problem, there. We've got you. Oh, is this one where I do the stealth at the bottom? I think it is. We'll know in a minute because there'll be um, one of the big looking enemies. Yeah, and you can see it over there. Okay. So we're going to actually engage some stealth in here. I'm going to deal with you. Whilst I've got plenty of FP. Damn it, that's not working, is it? Luckily this guy doesn't really have much of a way up, so we're just going to deal with him now. And then we'll be going down there shortly. It's quite a few of them, so that's kind of quite dangerous down there. So try to go down there without too many runes. So, um, prepare accordingly at this point, is what I would say. Oh. Ha ha ha. Trying to save some FP, but it's not really working for me, is it? The range on the Reaper isn't great. Excuse me, that's not very nice of you, is it? Ouch. I've taken so much damage. If I take one more hit now, I'm done. I could, I sh this is like where I should heal, really. There's a big one up there, and several. Yeah, let's, let's do this bit properly. Where's my... Uh, there it is. I can literally see you, sir. Now, if you want something to help you with this, um, it's not going to insta-kill it, which is unfortunate, but you may have seen that we uh, went around a little square plate over here. Come on, I really like doing stuff like this. Hey! I wanted to use the trap on you. That's really weird. It's never struggled to get over here before. What's that about? <laughs> I don't know, but I'll take it. Rifle of what? Three. Mm. And I believe there's another one up here as well. Yeah. So, just to be, yeah. Nice and cautious. I believe, yeah, you should be able to see on top now. Got some imps that are going to join in this fight. So just, you know, try not to be overwhelmed and outnumbered here because it's just not going to work very nicely for you. Okay, 
This really does you it. I'm sure we were able to take you around there before. That's really weird. Just figured I'd save myself a bit of FP there. I'm going to end up having to reset. Mind is clearly an issue right now. I'm just never going to get a chance to get any health, am I? <laughs> at least for a long time. Luckily, we're not getting one shot yet, so it's not the end of the world. Um, that probably will happen pretty shortly if I'm not careful, so we really do need to... They have really upped the range on these spells. I honestly, like, I do not remember being able to hit that far away. With the pebble. It, like, it needed to happen because the range was so horrifically short. But that was really good. That was good range. So, uh, Stone Sword Keys. I don't really know how much I recommend this. It's like a small benefit to um, Arcane for this helmet, but there are better in the game that you don't have to spend a... Um, spend a key on. That's everything around here. My gut tells me there might be a... Invisible. Oh, no. Do knock. Invisible wall? No? Okay. So we can go up the stairs. Bit for flat. Excuse me. Ouch! Oh my god. Death incoming. Oh, where's your friend? Last thing I need is for there to still be two of you when there doesn't have to be. <laughs> I love it, you're injured and sitting up there. I know that's probably not actually planned on the game's part, but it just looks like it sometimes, don't it? I'm gonna have to reset before we go underneath. That's gonna that's a bit of a bit of a drag. Ain't it? Brave Glove of Water 2. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it! Out of FP again. Fort Great Sword. We don't need that. Cool, so that dealt with. Oh. Just not got the damage, have I? It's fine, we get access to the best staff soon. Um, but <laughs> we need 60 int to use it. <laughs> so we've got a long way to go. Oh, there's another one. That could have been bad. Luckily, didn't try to combo me. Had to be a wave. No. Nope. Get out. <laughs> I have the best poke, I'll have you know. It's not the best poke, really. They are better. Rune. Ripple of Want. So, yeah, we are not in a state for me to. Uh, Head on down there right now. So, what I'll do is uh, we'll go and rest at the Grace, which is literally just up the stairs up the left, and then we'll pick right up from here. Okay, so here we are, nice and reset. We'll have to take on the uh, big guy below us again. I don't think there's another imp here, is there? I can't, don't think there is. No. So, we're just gonna take you on. Extra few runes never hurt anybody anyway. I think my next level up's going to have to be on mind because it kind of works out that it's an extra pebble. A uh, flask, right? So that's an extra five pebbles i run when we're down here. You're going to want to come down here and drop into your sneak mode. Probably going to want to turn off lantern. Where are you? I think it heads like this way around. That's their lock. Yeah, there we go. And we can just follow this around. You can fight it if you want, but... 
like this is one of the few opportunities in the game where I'm like, oh, they give us like a stealth area. We just collect all the cool stuff. You spotted me. Come on, then go. Oh, I guess he's, uh, I guess I got a little bit too close. Nope. Let me ask him. That's annoying. <laughs> I wonder if we can, like, throw some... Oh, it's fine now. <clears throat> it's cool when it works, I suppose. Lost sight of me there, that's cool. No, I guess not. Now that he's aggro, we're gonna have to kill him, so... It's a, sh it's a little bit of a shame. It's real difficult to fight him in here, though. Especially when you're not doing amazing damage and... You know... He's mega-aggressive and pretty good at closing distance as well with his kick. Stuck. Well, that's the end of those ridiculous combos. If we get caught in one of those, <laughs> we won't be able to recover and it'll just be the end, so. Right. <clears throat> so I got a little bit too close there, but you can just basically follow him around to get all of the loot that's in there if you don't want to fight him. We have another one at the end of here. We have a cool trick for this one. Don't ask me why he just stands there and takes it, but he does. Just out of being thrifty with my healing right now, I'm going to do that. It probably isn't necessary. Are there imps in here? No. Cool thing is, we don't have too much weapon degradation or anything in this game, so we don't have to worry about things wearing out. So, uh, depending on your priorities, you can either fight this guy or you can not. I'll show you what he's guarding. He's got, I think it's a, I think it's a prayer book or something. Of that description. Oh man, those candles are screwing me over. There we go. It's going to screw you up now. I was expecting more damage than that. Okay, <laughs> maybe I'm going to switch weapon. The crit is not doing enough. But then again, we have no scaling on it, so... No! Do you mind? How rude. So, page, oh, it's page ashes, actually. Yeah, we do want that. We want to get all the ashes. Right, so there was another one. Guess not. Cool. So that's the uh, dungeon portion of this episode cleared now, so... Now to look for the boss fight. I can't remember exactly what the boss is. We'll give it a go. I don't think it's going to be anything too egregious. There's no way it's going to take Lutal and then a full flask, so we should be pretty good. I don't know. That, maybe it will. <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah. Oh, man. That's some good damage to Lutal. But Lutal is doing good damage to you. Yeah, gotta be careful of that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't think so.
His ability to just avoid damage sometimes when he uses his, like, fade step thing. It's really handy. Oh. Yeah, it's a win. <laughs> there we go. Nothing to worry about. Caden okay, Sellsword Ashes. I guess that'll be good. That allows us to leave. Okay then, so, going to be a bit weird because you'll have just gone through a loading screen and we're just going to fast travel back to the in the uh, highway north. Where we can use some runage. I think I'm going to go with mind, even though it probably is a bit mental. Go ahead and use our tier. There we go. Then we have four to five minutes to grab ourselves some loot. So we've got two things we can do. We want to come over down here. Oh, let's have loot. They've gotten so kind with who can do all these summons. So we're going to send some uh, rune arcs into here because there's a lot of enemies. Now once we clear through quite a lot of them, there'll be, um, like a, I guess you call it like a carrying troll, it's like a magic version of the giants. Um, you can tell because of the shape of its helmet. There it is. Realistically speaking, it's anything that's uh, dangerous here. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Especially with the loot here. It came for me and not the... Uh, not the stunner. Interesting. With the damage it was doing. Yeah, it does like to... Uh, throw its sword around a lot. Can cast like a uh, version of the Glint Blade Phalanx if you guys have used that already. It's FP. Cool, that's that dealt with. I believe, is it this one? Yeah, the Lucerne. So that's a unique piece of gear right there. You can only get one of those per playthrough. Um, and there's also a new staff we can get. I don't think it's any good for us right now, though. But we'll go grab it. And it is good depending on the uh, types of spells you're using. Let's mount up. We're going to go up to that tower there. And we're actually going to sprint straight to it. So there'll be a load more spirits in front of the tower, but... If you try and fight it here, um, you can get shot at by this guy. Look, and that's just not going to be ideal. Luckily, my bubble was still on there. Stop me, yeah. Eating that to the face, didn't it? Excuse me, back on there. Ha! That's just healed me straight back to the top. That's good. Duped here. Stone cut book three. this guy. I don't think he turns around on this unless you like go too fast. You can sneak up on him and knock him off. I'm just going to do that. And there's the Karen Glint Bane staff. Not bad. There's all of his friends look all waiting for us, but that's fine. Um, I mean, if you are feeling particularly trapped, we can summon here, but it's not really much of a need, I don't think. All sorts of fine. Hello, we've got more now. These kind of magic thralls aren't so bad, right? Off when they all start casting at you like that. Whoops. Ouch.
Which to me anyway tells you exactly how a caster should be playing. Summons. Or as often as possible. Uh, that clears us out of there. Which is good. And then we've got the next. Yeah, so we might as well grab the next grease up. Well, that rounds us out nicely. Got a decent amount of runes out of that. Mm -hmm. So if it's night time, be careful here. It's not quite night time, I don't think so. That's good. Uh, there can be a knight's cavalry on this road. Um, so just be careful of that. It doesn't really drop anything that we need. But um, we will be taking on eventually, but we don't want to do any world bosses right now until we've dealt with Hieta's questline. Because I'm just, I think, like I say, I feel, I feel like it's been fixed, but I want to err on the side of caution and make sure that we actually get that successfully this time. So uh, yes, that'll be the end of this video. Uh, just thinking about where we need to go. We've already been around this bit, and we don't really want to do Ainsworth River yet. So we'll probably avoid this area now till the back end of. And you as a whole. So, just in case you don't know, so when we spoke to Fia, she gave us that map. That's where it's telling us to go. It's the um, oh, I've got Death Knife or Black Knife Catacombs. It's named something like that. So, we've now done uh, most of this eastern side that we want to do for now. Uh, there's a bit more loot you could probably get up this way. There's an artist shack here. Um, but the solution is like all the way up here. Like, you've got to go to like. Uh, one of these pillars on on here. That's the solution. So, I think in the next one, we'll set off from here just in case anybody's joining us just for Leonia. Um, and we'll we'll hit the Eastern Leonia Lakeshore and we'll continue going around the, uh, the side here until we get to the get to the cave. That's where we can get some upgrade stones. Have Testu's Rise, which will give us more slots. Uh, spell slots and probably most importantly in the next episode we'll be grabbing the intelligence knot crystal tier which until we are able to kill this is going to be our only damage increasing um damage increasing um physic ingredient it's also this to sort of visit at some point but yeah in any case i hope that's helpful hope you guys are still enjoying the series and i'll see you all in the next one